Ah, uh, so here we are with Bob. Now, Bob is a big-time superhero fan. Obviously, Bob's not too smart, and he's kind of banging his head against the back of this truck. But Bob figured out that this truck is actually containing something super top secret that involves superheroes. Hooray! Now, is it merchandise? Is it some sort of a secret memorabilia that he's looking for? Or is it something a little bit more strange? Well, we're gonna go over here and pop this bad... Oh, sorry, Bob. We're gonna pop this bad boy open, and we're gonna steal ourselves one of the crates. You know, it's fine. I doubt the superheroes are gonna even notice this is gone. So, we're gonna wave goodbye to the truck. Goodbye, truck! And it's just gonna go travel and uh, go to a better video. And uh, we're gonna see what's inside of this crate. So... Come on, Bob, look alive. All right, Bob, I need you to open this crate. Do it the only way you know how to do it. Uh, uh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, this crate's a little tougher than I thought. Maybe a crowbar or something? Actually, this might work. Okay, come on, open up. Come on, uh, uh. you know what? Maybe we should just smash it, that's fine. Here we go, uh, what the heck? Okay, a little more force, uh, there we go. All right, let's see what's on the inside. Also, Bob, you might need uh, to go see a doctor. You're not looking too well. It's fine. Wait, what's this below all the debris? Hey, it's a new set of syringes. Wait, these syringes are superhero syringes. You're telling me we're about to get Bob all the powers in the world? Oh, it's gonna be a glorious episode, folks. So, just to give you guys a little bit of backstory about Bob and his obsession with superheroes, he once met Wolverine, and uh, we can say the interaction didn't go well. It went something like this. Yep. Yeah, that's why he's a big fan. So, you're probably asking yourself, well, what are these superhero syringes? Well, these give you the powers of superheroes. So, did you want to become the Hulk, the Wolverine, uh, Deadpool, Cyclops? Well, you've got it here, and Bob's got them all to himself. So if you guys are excited to see Bob turn into some sort of mutant-powered uh, superhero, maybe hit the thumbs up button. And if you guys are just excited, maybe hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't hit the thumbs up button, maybe hit the thumbs up button. So I guess in order to understand the uh, superhero syringes a bit more, uh, we need to go over the superheroes here. So you have Bruce Banner, or the Hulk. Uh, he can do this, and he gets very angry and destroys stuff. You've got Cyclops, which Cyclops has a really cool power here. Check that out. He's got like a little laser beam. Uh, you've got Deadpool. Well, it's just Deadpool. He uh, pretty much is awesome, and he stabs stuff, and he can uh, regenerate. You've got Gambit, which Gambit... I'm trying to remember what Gambit does. He's like my least favorite X-Men. So apparently whatever he touches, it becomes explosive. Uh, let's go ahead and try that real quick. So let's say we give him an ax here. Does this turn into an explosive ax? Let's test it out on another super fan. Oh, that didn't seem to do anything. Uh, maybe I need to activate it again? Oh! Okay, so that's what Gambit does. He blows himself up. I like how the other superheroes are just standing there a little bit shocked as to what just happened. All right, so we have Star-Lord from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. He's got the little mask thing, and then, he, of course, I think he's just got a gun. He doesn't do much else. And then you saw what Wolverine could do. He can stab Star-Lord. Ah, there we go. I love Wolverine. That's like the best superhero ever. And the whole fact that he can regenerate, too. So, oh, hold on, let's get Star-Lord out of here. There we go. So... We're gonna give Bob the superpowers of all of these superheroes. I mean, you got Star-Lord and he's just got a mask, but you know what, we're gonna give him that too. So Bob's sitting in his house and you know what, we're gonna do a blind draw here. Like, I don't know what each of these syringes does. I'm pretty sure the green one's the Hulk one, but other than that, maybe the red one's the Deadpool one. Uh, the yellow might be Wolverine. I don't know, let's start injecting Bob. Bob, this is gonna hurt a little bit. Let's go, oh, there we go, that was in the uh, head. This is probably not a good idea. Oh, there's that one. Okay, one of these uh, is going to make him regenerate, so he'll be fine. All right, let's give him a Deadpool one. Oh, and let's give him the Hulk, which I'm assuming that's the Hulk. Oh, that went inside of his neck. Come on. Let's try it again. And wait, did we just confuse the game? Come on. Uh, wait, why are these bouncing? Oh, did that even go in him? This is fine. Okay, there you go. 
So now Bob is the ultimate superhero. At least I think he is. Or he's really screwed up right now. Hold on, let's get that out of him. Bob, what are you doing? Why are you setting like that? Okay, let's stand him up real quick. Let's start clicking him. Like, does he do stuff now? Huh? Uh-oh, we might have broken him. Oh, he's got the Wolverine claws. Wait, so can we do multiple or did something override another thing? So he's got these. Hold on, can he regenerate? By the way, there's also been a small update to People Playground. Uh, there's some new stuff. There's a bulletproof sheet uh, that we're going to test here in a second. But, uh-oh. Okay, he does regenerate. So he's got that. You shoot him in the head. Okay, he's got that power. He doesn't have the Hulk power. Maybe we need to inject him again. Yeah, the green one was definitely the Hulk syringe. So let's go. There we go. Huh? Well, I'm clicking him. I'm trying to activate him. Let's try it on another Bob. Because I'm curious. Maybe these syringes can't override each other? Uh, let's go. Uh, there we go. Do you have Hulk powers now? <gasps> oh, dear. Okay, he's got Hulk powers. Uh... This is uh, Bob's friend. This is Jared. And Jared's head is stuck in the floor now. Okay, Jared might be dead. But no, the Hulk is pretty much indestructible. So why don't you have cool Hulk powers? By the way, I think Jared's a little mad and he's starting to kick Bob. Uh, maybe for hitting him with that syringe. This is fine. So you can't actually give them all the powers. That's a little disappointing. I can see where in the game it might be a bit of an issue. But we, we tried. I mean, obviously, we could just go give them all normal powers. Uh, we need to probably destroy the evidence of the heist here because, you know, Bob's still going to be in trouble uh, with the superheroes for stealing their powers. Speaking of angry, Bruce Banner's outside. I'm pretty sure he wants his syringes back. Uh-oh, Bob looks a little afraid. Oh, here he comes. Wait, does he have, like, superpowers? Can he power through this wall? I don't know what's happening on the inside. I think the, uh, the two guys are trying to run, run away from the Hulk. The Hulk might need a little bit of assistance. Uh-oh, there we go. I might have assisted the Hulk a little bit. He's inside. He's trying to get to the others. Oh, let's break down the... Uh-oh, oops. Okay, I might have just crushed the uh, the people inside. Hold on, it's fine. This might need to turn into a rescue mission. Move that over there. Oh, uh-oh. We just hit the Hulk. Uh, this is great. You know what? It's actually kind of strange. I, I feel like the Hulk power, the little syringe makes you bigger than the the actual hulk um the hulk just lost his head we're gonna ignore that happen all right so these heroes are definitely something so the hulk one like this is cool i don't necessarily think it's any stronger besides the whole fact that it can regenerate but i don't think it actually like punches hard or anything like the hulk does but i am kind of curious here uh, one thing I did notice. Wait, what's this green one? Oh, this is just a regeneration syringe. Uh, this lighter green one's the Hulk one. Was this making this character bigger than the normal Hulk? Hold on, let's go. Whoop. Oh, no, it's the same size. So you've got Hulk and you've got Bob Hulk. Uh, they're meeting each other for the first time. It's kind of awkward, actually. So if you were to set these two to fight... Who wins? Because I don't think either one of them is indestructible. You know what? You two, uh, go to town. Have at it. Yep. I don't understand what's happening. Oh, look at that. Actually, their punches are pretty good. Huh, maybe I was wrong about the Hulk's punches. <laughs> We're totally going to throw a bob in the middle of them here. All right, have fun. No, oh, he's probably like, what did I get myself into? What am I doing here? Actually, he's at, like, the uh, worst level ever. Like, he's just at crotch level for both of the Hulks. <laughs> he's just getting beat up. Oh, no, they're hitting him over the head. What is happening here? <laughs> oh, there we go. I think Bob might have just died. Yeah, he's definitely dead. They're just stomping on him. Actually, I think they're just having fun with him now. Uh, we better get him out of there. Here, you, you go over here. It's fine. So, we're going to let these two fight. Hmm, what other uh, fights should we have? I mean, the Deadpool ones might be kind of cool because they do have his, uh, his little katana. So maybe we should do that. All right, you two have fun. I'm going to throw Deadpool into the mix over here. So let's go boom. He's just kind of standing there. Oh, he's already running. No, 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 no. Deadpool doesn't run. Actually, Deadpool might run because he's smart. 
Uh, so maybe we need to make you go berserk here. There you go. Turn around. Wait, what are you doing? No, that's not how you use your katana. You're supposed to hold it in your hand. Not like drag it behind you. He's kind of going crazy right now. Here, let's try this again. All right, you got it? There you go. Go in there and show the Hulk who's boss. Oh, okay. One of them just flew off. What the heck? That was very, very odd. Are they running from Deadpool? I don't know. Deadpool's like having some problems keeping up here. Uh-oh. Oh, this fight is going nowhere. Uh, oh, here comes Deadpool. He's starting to stab the Hulk. This is like the ultimate fight happening right now. Like, I'm pretty sure somewhere some superhero buff is going, this is awesome. Or they're going, this is totally unrealistic. Why are these two fighting? I don't know. There's uh, one of the other person there. And, okay, Deadpool just got flung. Yeah, nobody can die here. Like, these are all indestructible. What is happening here? Why are you guys... Oh, his head just exploded. I think normal Hulk might have just beat Bob Hulk. Now, we're going to play with another hero. This uh, hero shouldn't be death proof, but Cyclops does have this really, really awesome laser. Let's go... Whoop. There we go. Oh, we just shot Bob Hulk in the butt. Wait, does this catch him on fire? Hold on, let's fire this a couple times. Dude, that is so cool looking. You know, I kind of wish it was like a steady stream. But, oh, we just hit Hulk in the back of the head. Uh, we're catching stuff on fire. Like, is there a way to kill any of these characters? Well, Cyclops is about to take himself out because I think he's going to catch himself on fire here. Oh, oh, okay, uh-oh. Big Hulk's on fire. Oh, there's a big fight to the death happening right now. Uh, wait, what's the other Hulk doing? I don't know what's happening. I, I feel like we can't kill any of these characters right now. Um... So, do we think that Hulk can survive against a nuclear bomb? I feel like we have to try that. Here we go. Boom. Here we go. Who do you think is going to survive? I'm pretty sure Cyclops is going to die, but let's try the others. Boom. Okay. So, what happened there? Uh, oh. Okay, there's Bob Hulk. He's fine. Where's the others? Okay, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's Deadpool's katana. Where's Deadpool at? Uh-oh. Maybe he was too close to the blast. Wait, this Hulk seems to be going somewhere. Uh, oh, pretty sure this is Cyclops. Can we get an F in the chat? Where are the others? Oh, look at this. Hulk's fine. He's up here and... Wait, actually, Deadpool's up on top of the tower. Oh, never mind. He's going down there. Uh, ouch. That looked like it hurt. So, yeah, these uh, heroes truly are indestructible. Well, the Bobs might not be indestructible, but we do have a new item that might help them. We're gonna ignore they're even doing this up here. So something I've always wanted to see is some sort of bulletproof uh, shield or like a piece. And we have it here. This is called a bulletproof sheet, which I'm pretty sure you can put this all over your buildings and stuff. But I'm kind of wondering if we can attach this to a human. So you're probably asking yourself, well, isn't this the same thing as a lot of the other metal pieces in the game? And I think it kind of is, but I, I wanna see how this thing reacts. Uh, so we're going to give Bob a bulletproof vest here. So let's do that. Uh, let's strap it to him here. Let's try not to make it to where it actually impedes his body parts. Uh, do you still function? Yeah, he still functions. All right, so let's see how bulletproof this is. Oh, we'll do a weapons test. He's also starting to sway. Is it heavy? There's a chance it's heavy. I mean, we could make it weightless. Oh, I don't mean to attach that to your head. I'm sorry, buddy. Here, let's stand you back up. Huh, it is pretty heavy, it seems. Let's go ahead and make it weightless for now, uh, just for the sake of the test here. There we go. All right, so uh, let's see how bulletproof this is. So we're going to do a weapons test. We'll start off here with the, uh, the Glock 17. Oh, he's terrified right now. It's fine. You've got bulletproof armor on right now. So let's go. Uh... Okay. Pretty sure that's not how that's supposed to work. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Um, maybe it's the method I used to strap it to him. Here, let's just get... Okay, I'm not spinning him, by the way. He, we turned Bob into a fan. Yep, and he just exploded. All right, folks, I've got a new idea. So what we're going to do in order to test this out, we're just going to make a wall of it. So we'll go one here and one here. And we're going to attach these to the ground. We'll stick the Bobs behind it. 
Uh, that way we can get a legit test here because obviously you see that the bulbs are moving a lot. So we got these. Uh, they can set back here and panic. It's fine. All right, so let's continue the testing. Let's go with let's go with the light machine gun. Let's go big here. So this is gonna be good. No, it's fine, Bob. All right, here we go. Dude, look how it moves. That's cool. Uh, there's a little gap in here, I think. Is there? No, there isn't. All right, so it's good against light machine guns. Uh, what about sniper rifles? This kind of looks like a 50 cal. Wait, what? So that's actually, uh, that's unexpected right there. I didn't expect the sniper rifle to be able to penetrate through that. So there are things that can penetrate. Wait, but he's not dead. He just got shot. Hold on. What's going through? Is it like the actual bullet or is it like some sort of shrap metal or something? Hold on, let's go boom. Look at that. It's not going through now. That one went through. It's not very consistent. So I think it actually depends on the round size, but obviously whatever's going through, it's, it's not killing him. Because if I were to just shoot him straight up here, let's go shoot him. Let's back up a little bit. Yeah, that was a devastating shot. So something's piercing it but it's actually making the bullet weaker. Yeah, that's actually kind of interesting. Like, I didn't expect to see that as far as the test. So yeah, that one's definitely not gonna go through. It's a little submachine gun, but something heavy like the sniper rifle actually somewhat pierces it. What about a minigun? I don't even know what a minigun shoots. Hold on, let's go. Yep, the minigun doesn't get through it. Uh, I kinda wanna try a rocket launcher, even though I'm pretty sure I know the result here. Let's go. Hey, look at that! That didn't even move him. What the heck? So the only thing that can penetrate this body armor or this armor piece is the sniper rifle, but it's a lot less lethal when it goes through. Do we have anything else that's the equivalent to this? I mean, we could do a, uh, uh, I guess, 120 millimeter cannon. This is fine. Let's try this one. Okay, so that one it gets through. So it takes a tank basically to get through this that's good to know that's actually kind of cool so we had a couple good tests here today we checked out the new superhero mod with syringes definitely go check that out i go check out the new update of course my favorite thing is obviously the armored plate but there are some other things inside of the update uh that you guys might like so anyways uh say goodbye to bob be sure to thumbs up the video and we'll see you guys next time